Hey everyone, yeah, welcome to another Friday Facebook Live. Um, last one uh, for the month of January in 2020. I can't believe the month is already over. Uh, it seems to go by pretty fast. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not ready for February. Or maybe I am, I don't know. February is kind of a um, one of those months where it's like, you have nothing really going on. <laughs> it's not really that fun. Uh, it tends to be pretty cold here in New Hampshire in February. Um, but it's like that last uh, cold month and then you get into March where it starts to get warmer. Um, actually, I'm noticing, uh, which has made me kind of uh, happy uh, the past few days is that the days tend to get a little bit, are starting to get a little bit longer. So instead of it being dark at uh, four, whatever, four fifteen, uh, or now the sun is setting around here around uh, almost five o'clock, which is kind of nice. Um, so gives us a little bit more daylight. Um, so yep, it's the end of the month. I hope everyone is sticking to their goals that they set out um, in the month of January. Um, uh, I um, you know as I always say. Um, you know, it's not about being perfect. It's about just being consistent most of the time. So um, even if you weren't perfect all month long, don't get discouraged. Don't, you know, give up. Um, just um, um, keep on going. And if you're hitting your um, goals uh, more often than you're not, then you're still making progress uh, moving forward. So uh, I hope everyone's uh, sticking with those, whatever it might be, whether it's exercise or eating or, um, you know, uh, a meditation or movement practice or whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's sticking with that. <clears throat> and uh, today I was kind of like struggling for what to talk about, right? It's like uh, I want to do these Facebook Lives every Friday, um, but I need to talk about something. <laughs> um, so I always have to try to think of something. And sometimes it's very easy to come up with something to talk about. And then sometimes it's not so easy. Um, and this is one of the weeks where it was not so easy. It was last night and it was 8.30 at night. And I'm writing in my planner about what I want to talk about today. And I couldn't think of anything to talk about, honestly. Um, so I thought about kind of the stuff that I've come across over the past week. And um, one of the things that I was... Uh, I, I've been reading the, uh, the book uh, Peak by Dr. Bubbs. Um, it's kind of about um, peak performance in athletes. Um, um, really good so far. I'm only on chapter two, but um, um, it's really, really good book uh, so far. And um, uh, the second chapter is about uh, the microbiome. And... Uh, I was reading through it, and um, there was a study that he brought up um, about uh, individualized uh, glucose or a blood sugar response um, of people after eating meals. And um, I've heard about the study before, actually, um, but I never actually looked at the study myself. And um, it was quite interesting because I actually went back the next day and, and pulled up the study and because I'm a nerd like that and um, was looking at the study and some of the graphics and stuff like that. And it was really quite interesting. Um, and one of the things I had not kind of realized um, uh, about this given study, and basically the idea is that um, it was a study that just showed um, that people's blood sugar responses to eating certain meals is completely individualized. So we can't just make uh, blanket statements about whether, you know, how one food will affect everyone. So I could eat a cookie and my blood sugar uh, might skyrocket and stay very high afterwards. Um, whereas uh, someone else might eat the same cookie under the same conditions um, and uh, they wouldn't see any rise in their blood sugar. Um, so you can't just make blanket statements like this, you know, if you eat this food, uh, it's going to, you know, be terrible for you. Um, and not saying that eating cookies is great for you, regardless of the blood sugar response that you get from it. But, um, you know, when we're talking about something like a whole food 
thing that we might, you know, someone might typically say is okay for everyone, um, we can't just make that assumption, right? Because it may, might not be a cookie, it might be a banana, or it might be a sweet potato, or it might be you know, a vegetable of some kind. Um, and some person might react one way to that, and another person might react completely differently. Uh, and uh, I found this, the one thing about the study that was really interesting to me was actually that the, they um, attributed this individual blood sugar response um, to uh, the composition of the person's microbiome, um, which um, for those of you who don't know, microbiome is the, the bacteria that resides in your gut. Um, and basically these little bugs are what is determining how someone might react to uh, a given food or their blood sugar response to a certain, certain, certain food. So just um, a couple of thoughts from that is basically, wow, you know, who would have thought that um, the bacteria in your gut can uh, either affect you positively or negatively based on the food you're eating. That's kind of uh, interesting in itself. Um, but, um, you know, it just started me thinking more about um, you know, uh, individualizing diets uh, to that person. Um, and uh, I often get lots of questions about, well, I am, you know, I am this type of person, you know, so how should I customize my diet? Uh, and I, I don't have an answer for that person, right? Um, whenever I work with a client and um, we talk about what their diet looks like, um, it's always, it's always kind of an investigation, right? Uh, I, I have kind of a general template that I like to follow. Obviously, whole natural foods is going to be the majority of what I would like to see everyone consuming. But what those foods are is really uh, going to be determined by that individual. You know, some of it is determined by personal preference. People like certain foods. Other people, you know, they don't like other foods, and, and that changes from person to person. Um, but it also might be how they react and feel and perform uh, with the foods that they're consuming or I want them to consume, right? If um, eating, uh, uh, you know, carbohydrates before their workout, uh, for example, makes their workout performance, you know, makes their, perform their workout performance um, uh, subpar uh, just because maybe the food in their digestive system track is is keeping them from performing to the best of their ability then maybe we move that to after their workout uh, on the other hand someone might feel like if they don't have some type of meal before they work out that they don't have uh, the performance that they would like so um, uh, they should they might eat a meal beforehand another person might fast um, you know, some someone might like fattier cuts of meats and someone might not like fattier cuts of meats. Someone might like eggs every morning and then be fine with that and someone might get completely sick of that, right? So the way we construct our diets um, are uh, really uh, built around our personal preference and how our bodies react to the foods that we're consuming in the situation that we're consuming them. Um, so, you know, I think we get caught up sometimes about um, quote unquote, the rules of a diet that we're following. Um, and I think that you should use those uh, quote unquote rules as guidelines, as starting points, and then uh, really be in tune with yourself and uh, change uh, what you're doing uh, to fit your own needs. Because uh, the only way you're going to stick with cer certain a certain way of eating is if you actually enjoy it. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, then chances are you're going to give up and go back to something that you do enjoy. So uh, we need to find uh, the, the diet or the eating regimen or the foods that work best for you, uh, for your performance, for your uh, lifestyle, for your personal preference, um, et cetera, and that makes you feel your best. Um, um, but also uh, find uh, um, uh, uh, the foods that that work uh, right for you, right? Um, so just because you know a certain uh, expert might say that this is the optimal way of uh, eating, 
uh, for health or whatever, for whatever benefit you're trying to get, uh, doesn't mean that it's right for you. So you need to listen to your body, and that's the most important thing uh, when deciding uh, how or what you should consume, when you should consume it, um, and uh, under what circumstances you should consume it. Um, so that's just uh, my random thoughts today about diet individuality. Uh, like I said, uh, when I work with clients, um, I'm not uh, dogmatic about uh, their diet. I uh, listen to them about what uh, they like, what makes them feel their best um, within the guidelines of like a whole foods diet, um, which is a lot of different foods. So it's not like we're limiting uh, lots of foods here. We're just eliminating all the processed stuff. Um, and uh, so it gives a lot of flexibility. Um, and I've had clients that like I said, um, uh, prefer certain types of foods in certain times of day. I've had clients that really enjoy fasting until noon. I've had clients that really enjoy eating breakfast. I've had clients that um, feel better when they eat um, before their workouts. I've had clients that feel better when they eat after their workouts. I've had clients that have told me that they feel restricted by uh, a certain diet plan that they've been following. And I've said, okay, well then why are you following it? <laughs> why not just, uh, um, you know, there's no reason why you can't enjoy the foods that you're eating um, and uh, loosen the reins a little bit and give them permissions to, to do that um, so that they enjoy the way that they're uh, eating and makes them feel their best. Um, so yeah, it's all about uh, listening to your body and honoring what it's saying and, um, and uh, adjusting the foods that you're eating and the time you're eating and how you're eating them uh, to what makes you feel your best because that's going to lead you to be the most successful uh, and the most healthy. So um, that's the message for today. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know how you've customized your diet. Let me know uh, if you need help. Uh, let me know if you have questions about uh, how to uh, tweak things to make things uh, optimal for you. Um, happy to help and you can leave comments. You can uh, direct message me or uh, reach out to me any way you want. Uh, happy to help and always love interacting with everyone. So with that, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, if you are a fan of football, uh, have a nice uh, Super Bowl Sunday uh, or as my daughter calls it, the last football game of the year. <laughs> uh, so if she doesn't understand the Super Bowl, but she understands the last one. So um, We'll, uh, we'll be celebrating that uh, on Sunday as a family, some friends, uh, so it should be a good time. But um, everyone has a good weekend, and I will talk to you all next week. Thanks.